Welcome to another episode of Yeah, No, I Know. But before we get started, a little disclaimer. Nothing in this podcast is being claimed as fact. Most everything discussed here are our own individual, personal opinions, beliefs, and experiences. We encourage you to always do your own research and form your own opinions. Nothing one person says on this podcast goes for everyone here. Each individual speaking is speaking only for themselves and no one else on the podcast. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Kristen, are you ready? Kristen. It's red velvet. It's my favorite. <laughs> Are you gonna make a wish? Yes. Oh my gosh, I have too many. This I is gonna take forever. Wait, I feel like what you wish for in our topic today. Yeah, go Michael hand in hand. Oh yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Hello. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce. Um, if you like it, then you put your ring on it. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> this I was is gonna so say COVID. cute. Now we can't. It's it adorable. Blew all over it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> cough on it so none of y'all She's have like, any because this is my favorite cake right here. Pregnant and eating it. <laughs> I literally ate red velvet cake for breakfast the other day because I had nothing <laughs> else great. in my fridge. Yeah, hey I mean, guys, it's so you're welcome. Eat. You're welcome. How old? How young you? are you now? Oh gosh. Well, by the time they see this, I'll be 33 years old. Oh, uh, so old. That's a good age. I like my it's 30s a, a lot better than the 30s are great. Than the 20s. Yeah. I'm gonna put this I'll, I'll let you know how the 40s are in about six months. <laughs> Dang! I just I know my the three of us are only gonna be in our 30s for another six months. Oh, <sighs> I know. That's so this adds a lot of diversity to the podcast, though. There you go. Yeah. I'm going where none of us have gone before. <laughs> Uncharted territory. Just right. Taking the <laughs> taking the reins. Mm. The sweater's a lot cuter when I'm standing up. It looks a little frumpy when I'm sitting. But. It's because you need boobs. I know. You can't, you can't see Oh, me. yeah. It's yeah. Brittany. See? It's Brittany, yeah. bitch. Got a little cleavage. Mm-hmm. These Look, are Brittany's, so cute, too. Brittany's got some you. cleavage. Oh, so happy birthday. birthday. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that. Thank you. <laughs> Hibiscus flowers. Oh, who's, oh, our little thing's who's, not on. Someone's phone's not on silent. It's not me. <laughs> We're talking engagements? Yeah, right? it's the yes. holidays are like engagement season. That's I feel right. like everyone's getting engaged right now. And I posted on my story and I was like, I feel like every two seconds I turn around and there's like, I'm well, really scrolling through and there's like another person that's known each other for like a month that's like engaged. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys got engaged that fast, Jenna? Uh, pretty fast. I knew him a while, mm-hmm. um, like years knew of him for years, but, um, we started talking, like, beginning of February, talking, you know what I mean, talking beginning of February, and he lived in Washington, I lived in San Diego, and April 1st, he moved out here, May 4th, he proposed, and August 4th, we were married. Dang. Oh, wasted no time. Dang. Yeah. That's awesome. How did Ken propose? <laughs> We're gonna tell our engagement stories because yeah. we all have one. Mm-hmm. Um, at and least then, one. Yeah, at least one. <laughs> Maybe oh, soon to be two. two. You, you do? Yes, I forgot. I have two. Oh, mm-hmm. Must be I, real I meaningful. Actually, I kind of <laughs> the have first two. One. Well, no, the first one sucks. I kind of have two. I almost have one, and it didn't hopefully happen. I'll have two Does soon. I'll tell you that you will. No. Yeah, no, Andy knows. Good. Yeah, no, he knows. Yeah, no, he. Yeah, no. Now we'll know. <laughs> Wait, after we share the stories, oh, by the way, look how fresh my hair is. So good. Thank you, Brooklyn. So awesome. welcome. Got view extensions. Yeah, check the description box. I've got everything linked. If you're listening on audio, then we do this on YouTube too. If you want to see us and you could see my fresh hair. Mm-hmm. You don't um, look so like gold compared to me anymore. I no. like we're like kind of brunette next more. to you too. It's, it's 
Does or anyone? Same. Can you guys comment or link like a good hairdresser that can do my hair? <laughs> <laughs> I seriously look like my bun looks blonde and then I look brunette. It looks like a piece that you clipped on yeah. there, maybe like. It's not well. It's extension. It is. <laughs> this, this helps though. This helps. Yeah. Um. We're dark for the fall. Or I think you look cute as a brunette. No, no, yeah. no discriminating against brunettes, but I just I identify as a blonde, so mm-hmm. I need to be more blonde. Yeah. <laughs> Especially well, next to you two. You got a long day ahead of you then. <laughs> All right. So tell us. How did Kendra So wait, vote? wait, what? wait. Engagement stories. And then we asked you guys what some Ooh. of your like craziest engagement stories are. And then I kind of want to talk about like what I want as an – like what, what yes. we would want. Like if in a, in a perfect world because obviously when you're getting engaged, like m- m- unless you talk about it a lot, the guy doesn't really know what you mm-hmm. want. Right? Yeah. So they do their own thing. And I think a lot of women forget too that – it's their proposal. Like, it, it's yours. And I mean, most guys want to make you happy, but it's their proposal. It's kind of how they want to do it. It's what they choose. And sometimes or it's a way for them to show how much they know you true. and how much they're willing to put your needs and wants before theirs. That could be a good true. sign of what's to come. That's true. Andy was pretty good on his. He knows me very well. So Yeah. Yeah. If a guy doesn't want to make you happy, he doesn't need to be marrying you. Because if you're, a guy doesn't want to make you happy, that shit ain't going to last. Because right. that's like in a man's DNA. When he finds the one, he wants to make her happy. Mm-hmm. And only he will be happy when she's happy. So yeah. anyways, back to the stories. Okay. Stories? Okay. So okay. Jenna. So you have two. Okay, so I'll go first since I have two. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want the one, the current husband or the ex-husband's first? Ex-husband first so we can end with a happy one. Okay. Yeah. So my ex... Uh, Backstory, like, really, really fast. We knew each other since we were, like, 12 years old. We dated for a hot second. I broke up with him because we were 12. Um, He lived far away. We reconnected, got married, or reconnected, and um, he, like, always wanted to marry me. Told my mom, I'm going to marry her. She's going to be my wife one day. Told all my boyfriends, I'm going to marry her. Yeah. (laughs) Back off. That's cute. Right. That's cute. Yeah. So when I found out that he was going to propose to me, it, he was going to propose on my birthday, which is June 15th, and his birthday was June 13th. So his best friend and one of my best friends, like a mutual best friend, told me, like, he's going to propose to you on your birthday. I'm like, oh my God, like, he's been in love with me forever. How cute would it be if I proposed to him first on his birthday? Oh. So, and ruin everything. Ruin yeah, all his well, plans. I mean, control freak. <laughs> so, and I, I guess I just wanted him to know, like, like I liked him as much as he liked me now like it was more of just like okay you've been pawning after me for years like let me give this to you now right um so yeah so i like i go-go danced back then so i got home with my cute little go-go outfit on and i had a ring and i proposed and he obviously said yes did you like get together. okay okay so a female proposed. I've never heard of anyone else doing I that. I want to know what you guys think about that, too, because people have very strong opinions about whether that's okay for them. I wouldn't recommend it. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Did you, I like, get on it? your knee? Like, yeah. Okay, mom, dad, kids, turn this off right now. <laughs> But like, oh, you did get on your knee. That's what you're saying. No, not like <laughs> that. that. Kind of, I mean, <laughs> what happened? Get to it. I uh, need we were, to know. We were making out. We were in the bed. I was straddling him, you know, and um, kissing him or whatever. And then I just kind of got up and I pulled it from like out of my little like booty shorts. And I was like, I love you. I just want you to know like I'm there with you now. And I'm glad that we found each other again and blah, blah, blah. And I just want to know, would you marry me? And he started bawling his eyes out, and he said yes, and then our friends were in the hallway, and like they said, oh, and then that was it. Yeah. So your friends were in the hallway as you guys were like getting down. I know. Like, <laughs> well, because I was in a cute little outfit, so he was like, I'm here. And, you know, I was like, okay, but I know everybody's out here, so I didn't let it like go too far. I was just kissing him, and then I was like, wait, I gotta tell you something. Aw. So why like, don't you recommend it? Because I always wondered what it would have been like to be proposed to. I would I always wonder like I wonder what he would have done and like what you know, so it's kinda like what if, yeah. what would have happened. Yeah, exactly. Cause you think about it, well, I mean, I guess not all girls do, but I was always like, Oh, I wonder how I'm gonna get proposed to. I wonder what my wedding's gonna be like and mm-hmm. kinda robbed myself of that. So Huh. Did yeah. he ever tell you if he was going to propose to you on your he birthday? Had the ring. Yeah. What was he gonna do? Did he ever tell you? Did you ask? Um I'm sure I did, but I don't remember. 
Hmm. Oh, must not have been that great. It probably <laughs> wasn't. It was probably like gonna propose to me at like the boogie or maybe at one of his concerts or something like that. Like on stage or something? Maybe. I don't I really don't remember. Hmm. It was like seventeen years ago. Yeah. Okay. So how did but, Ken propose? Um oh god. So he we went shopping, you know, like when you, you kinda do. You go shopping with your fiance or soon to be fiance and pick oh, out for rings. rings? Yeah. We never did that. Okay, well, we did. We haven't done that either. know what I liked. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I did that I with mean, my ex-husband. We did. Yes. Well, the reason we didn't is because these are my Nana's diamonds. Gotcha. And so my mom had already told Andy, like, I want to give these to you for her ring. So yeah. he, like, designed the ring himself, actually. And so we didn't, like, go shopping. I had shown him, sense. like, what I liked. But Andy always told me, like, if you don't like the ring, you can say no. <laughs> That was that was Andy's kind of perspective. I don't like that, Andy. So. Yeah, I don't either. I'd be like, you better damn well get me a ring that I like because i got to yeah. wear it forever. I well, and we so. were talking about your thing, too. Well, I don't know if you want to talk about that. But I'll finish what? my story. Okay, right. sorry. Yeah, Nick's mom. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know. watch this, so. Well, because you were talking about how, like, he brought up proposing with that. And then right. you were like, hmm. You know, and then I kind of came up with an alternative. I liked your alternative. Yeah, I we'll think talk so about too. that. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Anyway, so, um, Ken. So we went shopping. We looked at rings. He knew what I liked. Um, he was very, very, very persistent. Like he was like, "We're getting married this summer. Like that's that's it." And I was like, "No, we're not. We're gonna date for a year, and then we'll plan a wedding." And he was like, "No, we're not." And <clears throat> so we did get married that summer. Um. But we started planning the wedding really fast. So obviously we got married in August and started talking in February. So I'm dress shopping. I'm talking to caterers. I'm talking to photographers. And every single place we go, they're like, oh, let me see your ring. And I'm not, he hasn't proposed <laughs> yet. Like he's so particular and he's so like, everything has to be perfect. He wanted to do this perfect proposal. I still, I mean, he wanted to do something with the kids. I, he told me later he wanted to do something with the kids and whatever. So he wanted to be perfect. And I was just getting irritated at this point. I'm like, I feel like a fool. I feel like I'm like this pushy bride to be that's like making you marry me. And yeah, you know, so, but it was the other way around. It was totally the other way around. So, um, finally we're like sitting down, we're watching a movie and I'm just like irritated. I'm like, this is like, I honestly, like, I feel like shit. I feel like super stupid. I'm starting to cry. And he, he was just like, Wow, okay, do you, so you really want me to propose? I'm like, yes, like, what is taking so long? Like, are you having second thoughts? Do you not want to get married? Like, That would I, bug me, too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is ridiculous. And he's like, okay. So he pulls, leans over, goes to the side table, pulls it out, and he's like, will you marry me then? I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. That was it. <laughs> he's like, you wanted it now. Oh, no. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, sure. Well, I'm a bitch. <laughs> I'll just shut up now. Yeah. Oh. So I blew two engagements. <laughs> Shit. That's well, funny. maybe the 10 year. I told him I want a new ring at 10 years. So there you go. That's we'll good. See. Yeah. Maybe he can redo his proposal. That would be amazing. To renew the vows. I think so. Because we're definitely different people than we were 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. Aren't we all? So I mean, different. Yeah. I mean, we're going on eight. So I got a couple yeah. more years and I get a new. Yeah, oh, there you go. And we'll just have like a big fat like renewal, like a vow renewal party for you. Oh, that'd be I fun. plan on doing that. I think I'm yeah, gonna do I it like five that. years. I oh, would do destinations. Destination. Ooh, okay. And we just all go yeah, a big and party. stay at a cute little place, you know, like in Mexico or something and just have fun. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be that'd yeah. be good. I yeah. like that. Because it's like crazy, like just how much your life changes. Like there's people who were in our bridal party that we thought would be a part of our lives forever. Mm. Do not talk to them at all anymore. And it's like, it's you guys crazy. were not my wedding. And it's like, yeah, that's weird. What? And like, so now we have like weird. other best friends like you guys that were like, wait, you were not our wedding? Yeah. Like, we need yeah. to redo it. Yeah. I can tell you at this point, if we were to renew our vows, it would be, it would mean a million times more than it did on our wedding day. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Because yeah. we, we mean, we really know each other. And if we recommit ourselves to each other, yeah, that's saying a lot. <laughs> Nobody really knows everything about you. I mean, yeah. no, you don't. <laughs> you Finding don't. out quickly, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for this podcast. Um, so, what's yours? Engagement story. 
engagement story. Proposal story, I guess I should say. Oh yeah, proposal engagement story. Um, so yeah, so like I said, Andy had already talked to my mom, and these are my Nana's diamonds. Um, I love so that. he like designed it himself, and um, he was turning 30 and I kept asking him what do you want for your birthday what do you want for your birthday he's like I just want you honey and I'm like okay so well, like I keep saying I'm like what do you want for Christmas just you just you to be happy oh just well, you. wait so every time he says that I'd be like oh really <laughs> yeah <laughs> this would make me happy yep we okay, live together exactly. we're having a baby together and you've been talking about it since six months mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. anyway sorry yeah. hijacking your story oh, go right. for it <laughs> um yeah, basically, so I love to line dance. I love country line dancing. And so we used to, which we all need to go do. Yes, <gasps> please. Yes. yes. That'd be so fun. It. I even went when I was pregnant with Jensen. It was, yeah. I love Ugh. I haven't been since. It's really fun. I haven't been in a long yeah, time we either. we gotta go. Yeah. So we used to go to like In Cahoots, which is um, down in like Mission Valley. Well, and they shut down a couple years ago. Yeah. Um, but so I used to just love going there like during the week and so we were going there what I thought was to meet some of his friends to celebrate his birthday him and his best friend their birthdays are like a day apart so I thought oh we're going to celebrate their birthdays because we were leaving um, to go to Lake Havasu like the next day and so um, we go down there and we like went to dinner before and oh Okay, when I go line dancing, it's like full on country concert. Like you, you wear Daisy Dukes, you know, mm -hmm. and a Jack Daniels tank top, right? Like it's nothing, yeah, classy, <laughs> right? I'll wear so, my Willie Nelson shirt. There you go, nice. perfect. So I had on booty shorts that like my butt cheeks were hanging out of, and a Jack Daniels <laughs> tank top. But didn't you say that you were like thinking of wearing a dress? Well, so yeah, so I mm. I wasn't really just like feeling cute that night, and I said to Andy, I was like. Does this look good? Like, should I wear this? And he was, he played it smooth. He goes, well, what do you feel pretty in when I spin you around the dance floor? And I was ah. like, I don't know, like a dress. And he goes, yeah, why don't you wear that dress? We had gone to an Alan Jackson concert together, and it was like a pivotal moment in our relationship. He goes, why don't you wear that dress that you wore to the concert? Like, I love you in that dress. And I was like, okay, yeah. And so I was like, sure. So I put on that dress. Thank God. Because um, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't have been getting proposed to in Jack Daniels tank top with my cheeks hanging out. <laughs> And uh, so we get there, um, our friends instantly ordered tequila shots, and I'm like, whoa, okay, I guess we're going hard tonight, like, let's take a shot. I didn't Havasu realize. is going to be well, rough I just, the next <laughs> I know, I didn't realize it was like to ease Andy's nerves. And um, the funniest part was I had to go to the bathroom really bad, and this place is two stories. Well, I didn't know, but all of our friends and family were, like, upstairs on the mm -hmm. second story. <laughs> and the bathroom downstairs was closed for, like, plumbing purposes or something like that. And so I was like, I have to go to the bathroom. And Andy's like, no, don't go. I'm like, why? I got to go pee. Like, leave me alone. Like, get off me. And he's like, no, just wait. I'm like, babe, I'll be right back. And I was like, he's like, oh, we're going to take a shot. I'm like, I'll be right back. So anyways, um, the owner, like the manager, he knew what was going on. And so he had a, a guard in, oh, I'm sorry. It was the women's restroom downstairs. So he had a, like a security guard say, oh, you can go in the men's and I'll just guard it for you. So they were like in on it. So I went to the men's restroom, came out, and as soon as I came out, one of our songs was on, which is Forever and Ever Amen by Randy Travis. Mm. And um, and I was like, did you have him put this on for us? And he's like, no. He's like, you want to go dance? I was like, yeah, of course. Like, this is our song. So we go out there, and we're dancing, and then the song ends, and I, like, walk off the dance floor. And next thing I know, I hear, like, in the microphone, like, Brooklyn. I was like, what? Jesus? Like, God? <laughs> like, who is it? God? Yeah, God. <laughs> um, and... I turn around and the dance floor is cleared. Andy's in the middle of it with a microphone and my heart just like stopped. And I looked at him and I go, what are you doing? <laughs> how many, how long into your relationship was this? Like how far into it, I should say. Over, it was more than two and a half years, but it wasn't three years yet. So oh, okay. in between. Gotcha. Yeah. And then we got married like just over three years. Um, and so, yeah, so he got in the middle of the dance floor and we have a, Filmed. Like it was, um, maybe what well, I don't know if you have any of yours filmed. Like we can maybe post it. Oh, you'll hear my story. You'll hear mine. Um, I don't think I have me straddling my ex filmed. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hear mine. And you're like, yeah, good thing there wasn't a camera in there because that's fucking filmed. weird. Both no. of my engagements happened in a bed. <laughs> oh, Jenna, I just realized that. <laughs> okay, anyway, maybe you're just really good in bed, Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> me and Ken didn't have sex before we got married. Oh. 
Yeah. You're so That's good. So sweet. I love that. I wish I could say that. Anyway. <laughs> I don't. I mean, well, I try it before I buy it. <laughs> I mean, it's, I, I had sex before. Yeah. But yeah, we well, all yeah, know that. Well, yeah, not that good. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, so to finish off the story, um, he said like a couple really sweet things um, and he ended it with, you keep asking me what I want for my birthday, and I keep telling you I just want you. And he got down one knee and said, will you marry me? And it was so sweet. And, of course, at that point, I saw all my friends and family up there. And, Aww. And so we almost, like, had, like, a little instant engagement party because everyone was, like, there. And That's it was so fun. super fun. Yeah. I just have to How say. How thoughtful. Yes. You said that Andy wanted to, that he is going to give you the proposal he wants. But he gave you the exact proposal you would want. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, yeah. Yes, he did what he wanted to do, but he did, ex- I can't think of a more Brooklyn engagement. Yeah. Yeah. So I agree. he did that's... do what you wanted. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he, it was more like the right. A lot of organizing, oh, too. Oh, gotcha. Like. Yeah. Oh, a lot of organizing. He knows. Yeah. I, I love being the center of attention. Yeah. And he <laughs> knew I wanted everyone there in the middle of the dance floor. And uh-huh. I love line dancing. And so. I love that. It was very me. It was mm-hmm. fun. And then we got to like go to Havasu and be on vacation. It's like, well, we're engaged. Like that's this so was cool. so fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I love that. So let's hear your engagement story. <laughs> so this is with my ex-husband, if you don't know, but we have been divorced for almost three years now, I think. Um, but he had been kind of like, I guess now, and now I know he'd been thinking about it for a while. And so I was bleaching my hair and instead of buying um, like shower caps or whatever to put on my hair so the heat would help like Mm -hmm. my hair lift, I had a grocery bag wrapped around my head. Sexy. And I was naked about to get in the shower. I was like letting it run. And then I, he leaned against um, our vanity and I leaned, he like leaned against it um, facing me and then I leaned against him and I like felt something in his pocket and I was like, what's, what's that? And he got really nervous and weird and still standing, just pulled out the ring box. And we had looked at rings, like, yeah. so I kind of expected that it was coming. Right. Um, when I was little, I just thought, like, people just asked you to marry them and you had no idea it was coming. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he pulls it out and opens it. And he, like, just freezes, kind of, and, like, doesn't say anything cute or sweet or anything. And I was like, <laughs> well, are you going to ask me? And he just, like, pulls it out and puts it on my finger and oh. then we went and got sushi after that. <laughs> I was like, that was like the Super most unthoughtful, anticlimactic, like, proposal oh. I've ever seen. Oh, man. Um, I mean, those are pretty, pretty even. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I feel like a lot of them would top that. But I, it was just awkward. So, I don't know if he was... We never talked about it. I don't know if he was ever planning on anything else. Why was it in his pocket? Was he going to take me out to dinner you know and ask me at dinner? Him? I don't think so. Huh. I don't know why I didn't. I feel like I didn't want to embarrass him maybe, so mm, I just yeah. didn't talk to him about it. But, yeah, it was kind of bizarre. Like, it just kind of a weird thing. And then he didn't even get on one knee. Like, I'm pretty traditional when it comes to stuff like that, and yeah. he's not. Mm-hmm. So that's one thing where we just didn't match yeah. up on. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's funny you were talking about wanting to be the center of attention and, like, with your friends and family there because Nick and I had a conversation somewhat recently Because I'm thinking to myself, why is it taking so long for this guy to propose to me? Like, literally, he's been talking to me about it. Like, he brought it up since we've been dating for six months, and it's been over two years now. So I'm just like, I literally thought it was going to happen at the one-year mark, and then maybe the two-year mark. And I'm like, okay, I'd fucking give up. I'm done guessing. But um, he was talking about it, and he, I don't know how the conversation came up, but he, I basically said, I don't want to be a bu- around a bunch of people. I don't want mm-hmm. my family there. I don't want a camera guy hidden in the bushes. Like, I'm not into that. Like, I want a very simple, comfortable proposal. Like, it could be in a park and we're doing a picnic or maybe we're out on the jet ski. Something like that. Like, I don't know. No, not the I was about to say, that's not a good place. That's not smart. <laughs> that's not a good place for a ring. Don't do that, Nick. Something or on just... The sand. <laughs> yeah. Or the snow. Yes. Good point. Good yes. point. Yeah. Nowhere where the ring could totally get lost yeah. easily. But, um, yeah, and he was, like, he, like, was, like, 
sighed a breath of relief and he was like, I'm so glad you told me that. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, I just assumed because like you have a YouTube channel and like that you would wanna be like the center of attention, like have it filmed. I mean, cause he is right. I do film a lot. Right. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that he would think that, but for yeah. such an intimate moment, I wouldn't want that. And that's why I don't really want a wedding again because mm -hmm. I just remember being nervous and having people stare at me and I didn't like that. I couldn't enjoy the moment with the, with mm -hmm. Ryan, my ex-husband, because I was just so worried about people looking at me and like mm -hmm. taking pictures and like, am I posing the right way? And right. like, I just, it wasn't, I was it's not thinking angle. any, yeah, I wasn't thinking anything about like what I was doing really. It was just kind of a flash. Um, so yeah, that, I, I, that, that's my, that, you know, something simple, something simple. Mm -hmm. Like what, what would you be your perfect like engagement or proposal? If you could have it all think, over again. Well, I think where he was going with it and including my kids would have been ideal. Like, I probably would have bawled. No. But I'll never know. I'm going to ask him. push it, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how do you feel about a woman proposing to a man? Um, I mean, I'm very, I'm very old school. I'm very traditional. So yeah, I am I, too. Sorry. I have to do this because you're gonna. I think see it's it super cute. Like, what is it? Just like a hair was like sticking. Out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think Jenna's story is like super cute. Um, would I ever do it? No. I Nick would kill me if I ever did that because I, I, I joked Andy, with him. I was like, I'm gonna propose to you if you're gonna take this long. Yeah, I feel like Andy would like say no. He would laugh at me and be like, no. Yeah. <laughs> totally. We were oh. very, yeah, we were very different. I mean, we shared flat irons and eyeliner. So that just tells you how me and my ex is really. We were in a band together. This that's that there one. So yeah, yeah. You know, we shared nail polish. Like yeah. it was it's very progressive. Well, very different. So two things. A speaking of traditional, how do you guys feel about the whole like asking the dad for permission first? Because you got to do it. If you don't do that, I know, it's sweet. Yeah, I'm very traditional when it comes to like all that kind of stuff too. Yeah. Same. Yeah. yeah. I don't and, think Ken actually like asked, but we all were together and like he like had a conversation with them. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean. But it wasn't like a, can I have your daughter's yeah. hand? It was like, kind of like as a group, like my mom and my dad. And I think I was there. Yeah. So. Andy took my dad to breakfast and I found out after the fact. And I love that because they got to spend that time together. I know that my dad approved. And then he was also there at the engagement. And um, it was just so special looking back because I didn't know. Actually, what's really crazy is a year to the day that we got engaged. So September 12th of 2017 is when we got engaged and September 12th, 2019 was when my dad passed away. And so it was mm -hmm. very special that like he was there and he could at least see that. And right. I know that my dad approved and he wasn't there to walk me down the aisle, but you That's know, nice. I know that he had that approval. That's um, really nice. Thank you. So before I start crying again <laughs> for like the 10th time on our episodes. It's only um, the third, if you do. <laughs> Jenna said something about nail polish just now. Um, Kristen, let me see these hands. Like, are they ready though? Like, no. Are, no. The, her nail is chipped, you guys. Her nail is like Look chipped. at that one. Well, we said something about doing that for her birthday. Look, yeah. here's the thing. If you suspect it's coming, ladies. I don't know when it's coming, honestly. Like, I'm done speculating. But that's the thing. Your the, nails need, the nail need to be... every week. Exactly. <laughs> they need to be in pristine condition. I tried to make an appointment today while you're doing my hair, and you distracted me. Oh, it's my fault. <laughs> well, if she has shitty nails on her proposal, it's my fault. Um, no, my friend, my best friend just got engaged, and that was, like, the big thing. That was huge yeah. for me. I, How'd you get her to do it, like, without being, like, awkward? Well, so, okay, let me say this. I like straight up told Andy, if my nails are not done, I will say no. Like I will be like, no, no, wait until my nails are done. Like I, I don't know. I'm just weird <laughs> about my nails. My, it's probably my mom. She was always like that with her nails. But so my best friend, what she did for me was like, we used to get our nails done together all the time. So she was like, let's go get our nails done. And I was going to do, um, I think I was going to do red or something because it was September, like end of summer going into fall colors, right? Well, summer I do like neons and hot pinks. Yeah. And I had said I always wanted like a pretty pink when I got engaged. And so I was like, mm. I think I'm going to do red. Like I'm over summer. And she goes, no, why don't you do like a good pink? You're going to have a suit. Like I was like, okay, yeah, good idea. Friends are always enlisted in doing stuff like that to like mm -hmm. make sure stuff. Ha I'm sure people listening or watching are like, oh yeah, there was this one time that I did X, Y, and Z. Like they're yeah, always I've involved. basically planned two of my friends' engagements. Aw. Two of them. That's fine. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's cool. I got to help with hers, so that was fun. Yeah. That happened recently. Yeah. But yeah, so... So you got pink. So I got pink. So I knew, though, that I couldn't do that to her to be like, let's go get her nails done because she'd be like, oh, so I'm getting engaged, you know, because she did that with me. Because it was so, the same person. Mm-hmm. The same person. So she... They had gone ring shopping. They actually bought the ring, and she didn't know when he would have it, but she knew it was coming somewhat soon. And so I just, every time I talked to her, I would like somehow bring it up and I would just be like, um, what I said to you, like your nails need from here on out, they need to be on point. Like I'm talking if one chips, you're in that nail salon that day, like getting that (laughs) shit fixed because you just don't know when it's going to happen. Mm. And can I bring up one of the stories that one of our listeners posted? Yeah. Because she, I guess, is an EMT. And so when she's on shift, she can't have nails. And so she said that she ripped her nails off, her acrylics, and then two hours later, her boyfriend proposed. And my heart goes out to you, girlfriend. And she's like, she said that, like, the hardest part was him, like, watching her do that to her nails and knowing, like, oh my gosh, I'm about to propose and she's ripping off her nails. Like, what do I do? Do I give a hint or I don't want to give it away, but like also, ah, your fucking nails. <laughs> like, yeah. Poor girl. Ugh. Oh my gosh. And I feel like you, would you post it right away? Depends how I look. Probably yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> so I Depends. Like you don't want like it to, to be the center of attention or a big deal, so I wonder if you would even just wait and then be like, okay, well, I'll go get my nails done and then I'll I'd post it. I probably want to think about how I would want to like tell that story mm-hmm. through a photo probably yeah. Yeah. so I don't think it would be first I, I don't think it would be right away mm-hmm. I maybe I would take a few just in case mm-hmm. it would turn out but I like to set things up like I, I like the background to be mm-hmm. the way that I want it you know what I mean like it just has to like I'll probably be printing it and putting it in an album or something so I don't know Gotta I be cheesy. hope <laughs> that even though you want it to be like small and quiet and intimate I really hope that he still somehow secretly like films it or something because I think it's something you'll want to look back on. Yeah. Because if he set up his phone or something, <laughs> that wouldn't bother me. I love looking back at those videos yeah. and I want to see those videos. I know. I'll me show too. you. Well, you know what's funny is you don't my, have them on your phone. Well, you guys know. No, I do. Oh, uh, you, you don't guys, have. Oh, you do. Yeah, of course I do. On your phone, like your, on phone, your phone right now. Yeah. You could show us right now. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's kind of nice. long, and it's like, you know. We'll just get, you just got to get to the yeah, point. Yeah, just There's... the part where he says, will you marry me? And you go, ah. Yeah. I can show you. I'll, I'll look. Not right now. Do, okay. do it after. We get... um, I was going to say, I know you have though, to go soon. Is he, um, he loves my hair naturally curly, because my hair is like, too. Really oh, curly. Me too. Me three. <laughs> Thank. I'm like the only one who doesn't love it. Um, <laughs> and I had my extensions in, and we were going to the river, and so I was like, oh, I'm going to take out my extensions and have it curly for your birthday, you know? And so the night before, I took my extensions out. And so my hair was, like, naturally curly when he proposed. and Just how he wanted it. He loved it. I'm like, I look back at pictures, I'm like, ugh. Your hair is so cute, curly. I was going to say, you didn't say how you would want to be engaged, proposed to, but you kind of did. Just not a big scene. Yeah, I did. Just not, like... Like, would you want your animals involved? Or would you just want you and him? Just me and and him. That's it. Just me and him. Simple. Yeah. Low maintenance. I just want to hear what he has to say from his heart. He writes me the sweetest letters. I keep them at my bedside table and, like, notes and stuff. I actually haven't gotten a note in a while. I kind of gave him a hard time about that the other day. I was like, you haven't written me a letter or a note for, like, almost a year. Does he, like, write things on, like, the mirror? Yes. I still have writing on the mirror from, I think, one of the first times he visited my house in Nashville. I I tell anyone that cleans the house, I'm like, do not, please do not. (laughs) Don't fuck with that up there. Oh <laughs> but God. yeah, he left a little note on there and he writes um, little notes in the shower with like soap when he showers Aww. and I get in and I get to see him. Yeah, so he's really good at the notes and the letters and all the stuff. So he's really good with his words. Mm-hmm. He's very good. Who knew Kristen with his words. was so sentimental? <laughs> I keep all of them. He, oh my gosh, he keeps all my notes. I, he's probably more sentimental in that way than I am. You think I, that's what's holding him up? He probably mm-hmm. wants like it, it to, be, to be perfect. So the first time he told me he loved me was on my birthday. Uh-huh. A first few months birthday? in. Okay. To our relationship. And my birthday is coming up on right. December 12th. Right. So <laughs> I don't know, but I honestly don't think he has. He We've been spending so much money on the house. Because well, you guys got a refrigerator, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an expensive refrigerator, dude. Um, 
Oh, shit. I was going to say something else. I'm, like, so tired right now. Yeah, it's and been a long day. I'm delirious getting my hair done all day, and I've been up. That must be sorry. exhausting getting your hair done all day, Kristen. Oh, <laughs> it's... Actually, you know what? Because I'm an introvert, it draws my energy out when I'm around people. Oh, really? Are you being yeah. serious? Yeah. Oh, I drained your energy? Yeah, everyone does. Oh. Not in a bad way. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a bad thing, but introverts <laughs> yeah, can yeah. relate. Like, it, when I'm just mm. out around people and not in my yeah, own you home have and to space. Be on, even yeah. when you're with your friends. Like, yeah. you're, you're, you're talking, on. you're yeah. thinking. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But. Um, okay, so I love this story um, because she said, I thought my boyfriend was going to propose at Niagara Falls. I was super disappointed when he, it didn't happen on vacation. Um, cause I feel like every girl, like, like, you know, it's coming, you know, it's coming. And like every vacation I was like, oh, it's going to be this one. And then I was like disappointed. And I I'm hate like, that. I just don't even want to think about it anymore. I know. But so did, I mean, have you had that where you're like, or yeah. did you have that Jenna where you're like, oh, so many times. That's vacation. why I'm over it. <laughs> we didn't date long enough to go on vacation. That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah but we went so, out to dinner. <laughs> so I feel for this girl. So it didn't happen. And then a few days later, we're walking our dogs after work, hot and sweaty in the summer heat, in <laughs> jeans and work boots. Like, boys, why? They just don't get it. They just don't get it. <sighs> and they were returning to the yard. I looked at him and asked him to check the pool basket. He was looking at me weird and dropped down to one knee and proposed in our yard. She goes, he thought our house was a more romantic place to get engaged than Niagara Falls. <laughs> poor That's girl. so funny. I, You know, it's like I say poor girl, but it's like, the point is the marriage, right? And it's, like, kind of just yeah. a funny story. And that's where I say, like, at the end of the day, it's their proposal. And, yes, Andy did what I wanted, but I don't, maybe he didn't have the ring then or maybe... How long have they been married? Mm-hmm. I didn't... She did not tell us that. I'd be interested to know what your marriage <laughs> is like. I want to see if my theory is accurate. Oh. Is he thoughtful? Does he... Like, get you gifts that you think you would want. Like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just, I wonder if there's something to mm-hmm. it. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. I feel like some guys just don't think about stuff like that. But yeah. if you're already that far with them, that's something you're accepting. Yeah. Right? Well, I feel like Ken, like, proposing to me after I bitched him to do it is definitely our relationship. Like, he calls me on my shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I pushed and pushed and he's like, okay, well, here you go. Like, now you got to deal with the consequences. You got to live with that proposal. And he did, and I feel like Andy is like that. Mm-hmm. He's very like, you know, he knows what you like. And He's very selfless and he'll just bend over backwards to like make me happy. Well, and I feel like mm-hmm. he likes, um, he likes a little bit of, like he's a, he's an entertainer kind of. Like he's, he's the life of the party, right? Like isn't he very. Andy? Out- no? Oh no, he lets oh. me be the life of the party. Oh, interesting. <laughs> if he has a few drinks in him, then he's a little bit more like cheeky. But yes. That, yeah. Maybe that's the term. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He can get pretty cheeky. Um, so this one girl, her husband, um, again, she thought he was going to propose a few weeks weeks later when they were on vacation, but they were at a restaurant, surprise dinner, um, for a birthday or um, birthday dinner, <laughs> <laughs> and he proposed using the Harry Potter elder wand. Oh, fuck yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I don't even know what that is. You got any more that you screenshot? Um, no, because apparently my phone was filming videos rather than screenshotting. <laughs> Perfect. we were also eating Thai food at the time. I was a little oh, distracted. Shoot. I have one that I remember reading. Mm-hmm. Um, the girl said that... Her, I don't remember where they were at, but the her fiance like got down on one knee and pulled the ring box out and opened it. And as he he kind of did it all while he was talking, and she said the ring fell out of the box onto the ground, and she was just like laughing hysterically because he had no idea that it had fallen out. So he was just okay. holding this empty box in front of her. Didn't fall somewhere <laughs> and couldn't find it. Though. No, I okay. think they found it. I okay. I don't remember all the logistics of the story, but I just thought that was, I laughed out loud so hard. I was like, oh my gosh, that would be so hard to like like, focus. I'm listening to you, but I'm picking up the ring. Yeah. (laughs) Like how, yeah, you just want to listen to what they're saying, but the ring's also down there. What if they were filming too from like her perspective and the box is just like empty? Oh man. Uh, (laughs) That's, I know, I feel like, one thing Andy said, he was like, you know, we went on this like family snowboarding trip and he was like, I wasn't going to, I wanted him to do it there. He's like, I was not about to do it in the snow. 
Like, because that can happen. It can fall yeah. out. And um, I'm like jet skiing. Yeah, let's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like my friend who just got engaged, um, someone suggested like do it on the beach in the sand. And he's like, no, 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 no. Don't do that, guys. Uh, yes, I have a story about that. I mean, it's not a super long one. We, my best friend got married and um, we went out to the beach to take pictures after they got married. And mm-hmm. he dropped his ring in the sand and never found it again. Oh, yep. oh that was it. God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I never told you how I almost got engaged another time. Yes. <laughs> what the heck? Um, I dated this guy, and we hadn't even been dating for a year yet. And we had, like, talked about marriage, but I was pretty young. I was, like, 20, 21 when I dated him. and um, But he, let's see, I had just turned 21. Went out to Palm Springs with some girlfriends on, like, a girl's trip and decided that I wanted to just kind of, like, let loose and have fun. And I realized, like, "Mm, I don't think I want to be in a committed relationship right now. Like, I want to just have Mm -hmm. a good time and be 21. It opened up this whole new world. Well, so I came home from the trip and we were, like, talking and I'm, like, basically telling him that. Like, I'm trying to break up with him. And he, like, runs to the bathroom and, like, throws up. And I'm like, okay, I, I understand you're upset, but, like, that's a little dramatic. And he's like... We were supposed to go to, there's um, a place called Storm Stadium. It's a double A, triple A baseball team where it's like a minor league baseball team. And I loved going to those games. I used to go growing up. Um, We were supposed to go the next day with some friends of his. Well, apparently he had gotten seats for like our friends and family and they were going to be there and they were going to have me come out onto the pitcher's mound. Like say like, oh, this person in this seat, you won this competition and you get to come like throw the ball or something and they were going to take me out onto the pitcher's my mound stomach hurts and he was going to propose and I was like and you were going to bring up with him because does he not know how to read any was, cues in, in, in the relationship but I don't think, like did you even know you were going to break up with him um I mean I was trying to break up with before him before that before yeah. that um I mean I wasn't like planning on it I just realized like I'm 21 and I just wanted to like sow my oats a little bit and not be in a committed relationship and he was <laughs> he was ready years, to marry you oh. he was like four or five years older than me I don't remember and oh. he was like very much so like all of his friends were married and you know he was kind of behind and so he really wanted to wife me up real fast and um I did not know it was coming and and he had told me, like, oh, I was about to, pro- like, I was going to propose. I have the ring. And then I-, I finally got it out of him. And, like, he was going to propose the next day. And Aren't you so glad that it I'm didn't so happen? It- so glad it didn't happen. Because how do you say no on a pitcher's mound in front of an entire stadium? That's the shit I don't like. I mean, I know. the guy should know for sure that you want to marry them. Like, well, I've told what... Nick a million times, like, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Yes, you know, yes, like, yes. And he said it should be more of a rhetorical question. Right. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. With him, it was not, uh, that was a huge Had you guys shock. ever discussed getting married? Yeah, we had, but, like, we hadn't even been dating a year yet. I think we have been dating, like, eight months. And I had just turned wow. 21. So I was, like, yeah, I was not trying to get married right then yeah. and there. And apparently he was. So... Oh, yikes. <laughs> Do I you guys mean, know anyone who ever, like, broke off engagements? Yeah. Yeah. My sister did. Yeah. Things like venue paid for, dress, bought. Oh. I mean. Ooh, that sucks. Not yeah. that far, but. It's rough. Yeah. No yeah. lots of people that have been divorced. <laughs> well, I know, a few too. <laughs> probably cheaper than that, I assume. I don't know. Oh, my first Depending. wedding was cheap. Like five Your grand. divorce? Oh, I heard getting divorce is expensive. The divorce was probably about the same as the wedding. Yeah. For my first one. My divorce cost me basically nothing. Perfect. Well, there you yeah. go. And my wedding was only six grand. My divorce cost me a tattoo and a hundred dollars. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. A hundred bucks, yeah. You got to pay to file. Yeah. I just, he but. wanted to, yeah. Yeah. I want to hear from you guys. Like, you guys yeah. surely have some engagement stories. And if you sent them in and we didn't share them... I'm really fault. sorry. I did read through quite a few of them and got a pretty good laugh. That's not it's fault. not my fault. <laughs> Kristen has like a bajillion DMs and I was like scrolling, scrolling, trying to find them. I found like five or six. No offense. A lot of them were boring. We want the funny ones. <laughs> the boring ones, they were good they're ones. the good ones. They're the good ones. But that doesn't make for a good podcast. Yeah. I read through a bunch of them the day that I posted that and I started screenshotting them and I don't know where the screenshots are. 
So thanks for sending. Um, I know, sorry. If we didn't share it, then feel free to share it in the comments yes. below. And I'd love to hear too, like what your thoughts are on women proposing to men. What do you think about that mm -hmm. role reversal? And proposals gone wrong. Proposals gone wrong. If you're not um, you engaged no. or married, yeah. If, did you oh, have yeah. you ever said no? Have you been proposed to more than once? All this, all the stuff. I want to hear all the stuff. And then you may have to do a part two when something happens. <laughs> I don't know why you guys think I'm getting proposed to anytime. Well, you're going to get proposed to. Eventually. No when. Yeah. Just put I'm not, your nails together. I know. It stresses me out for you. I know. I'm not really in a rush, honestly, but now that we have a baby on the way, I'm kind of like, I'd like to all have the same last name. That'd be cool. <laughs> you know, just have that commitment, you know? I mean, we're committed in every other single way. Mm -hmm. So, also... I feel like I'm the only girlfriend at like the fire station. Like anytime we get together with everybody, everyone's married and I'm like the one girlfriend, <laughs> you know, but very serious. Yes. So everyone just calls me like his wife and I'm like, no, 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 no. He's, he's not earned that yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. So I love it. Well, and I feel like someday too, we'll have to talk about weddings and wedding stories because I've got a pretty good one to talk about. Oh yeah you do. Yeah. yeah so you got a real good one. So maybe have people comment on that too. Like if you have any not just like proposals gone wrong, but maybe any like funny wedding stories. We can do one about like weddings too. If you have mm -hmm. any you know, there's always something that goes wrong on the wedding day. So all like always, right? Yeah. Like put yeah, put that in the comments too and we can chat about some fun wedding stories. Yeah, that would be fun. I would like Or that. the night before, things can go wrong. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and then we want to talk about how we feel about bachelor and bachelorette parties. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Co-ed, oh, all together, separate? Are strip clubs okay? Are they not? Are strippers okay? Ooh. Fuck no. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, that's a big no for me. Mm -hmm. Did you guys, did either <laughs> of you have engagement parties? No, no, yeah. I never had an engagement party. You did? Oh, yeah. Yours was kind of built in, although you had another one also, right? We did have an official all there. engagement party. Yeah. 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 Okay, I was literally asking Brooklyn today, like, what does an engagement party entail? Like, is it just a dinner or is well, it... Well, it depends. My like, maid what of honor threw ours for us and I threw hers for her. And okay, Willie okay. threw in Kristen's for her. Well, duh. duh. Okay, I've never Obviously. even had one. I didn't know that oh, was well, like a thing. About so. <laughs> but we need, like, we need the ring. <laughs> We're ready to go. Small detail. One big detail. <laughs> right. Yeah. Big, small detail. Yeah. Small, big. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Well, yeah. So maybe also, like, if you guys have any questions about, you know, I don't know, bachelorette parties and... I think share your, share your stories. I want to yeah. hear, like, all the funny ones and yeah. read through. We'll do a part two. It'll be fun. Yeah. And four. And three and five and seven. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. out of order like that. <laughs> okay, we're going to eat this red velvet cake. So okay. thank you, ladies, for that so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for watching, guys, or listening, whatever it is. I should say ladies. Probably more ladies than men are, wa are listening, watching. <laughs> um, and if you're on YouTube, give our podcast a thumbs up if you enjoy these. And Britney Spears, if you're watching, I love you. We all love you. <laughs> Free Britney. That's cute. I love that. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Hey, listen up. I've tried to tell you this a hundred times. Not getting better by lying there, pretending to cry. You all repeat, you can see shit, cause you